Hey, y'all, I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. It's so simple, so good, and it's from Cooking with Paula Dean Magazine. And while I'm saying that, let me remind you that I am running a special on that magazine uh, for a year's subscription. You can get it for $16.99 for a year's subscription, which is unheard of. You'd save 75% uh, against uh, retail, retail in stores. So I think it's a great deal. It makes a good gift. Or if you like um, just keeping fresh recipes in your repertoire, it's a great way to, you know, just refer to those magazines. But anyway, have y'all noticed that cauliflower has become a huge star in the food world? And I have always loved cauliflower when I call myself trying to give up my wonderful potato. Uh, this was the closest thing to that potato. And um, I just put the butter and a little sour cream on it and salt and pepper and I would eat it just like I would a baked potato. So, um, like I said, this recipe is in Cooking with Paula Dean magazine, and we have steamed this. Uh, Teresa cut it off nice and even so it stands up properly. Uh, we put this in a skillet, not covered with water, but um, let me see what we, um, about a half an inch thick, deep, and cover it and uh, let it steam for about eight minutes. So we have taken it all out, let it drain real good and have patted it dry. Now here's the favorite part of this recipe to me. Let me just do my little, y'all don't be scared. Eddie, don't be scared. <laughs> Teresa, don't be scared. <laughs> we ain't going to the doctor. We can run faster than you do. I know you can. That's, <laughs> that's why I ain't fooling with y'all. <laughs> Not even joking. <laughs> so, I've got melted butter right here. I've got garlic salt. I've got um, crushed red pepper flakes. Mayonnaise. And everything seasoning. And where'd you say this came from? Whole Foods? No, I got that from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, okay. That's from my own supply. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. So this is sea salt, garlic, and onion. And it's sesame seeds. And I love sesame seeds. They get between my teeth, get, but I love them. I, I just can't, can't give them up. All right, so we are gonna take our cauliflower and we're gonna transfer it back into our skillet I'm gonna take our crushed red pepper and mix with our butter and our garlic salt. Just gonna stir that around, blend it all up together. And I don't know um, if y'all have ever coated maybe your chicken or fish with mayonnaise and then baked it. Oh my goodness. It is so good because that mayonnaise uh, contains all, which keeps everything moist and it's just delicious. So I, never I know it. I've never, I've never done it on cauliflower until now. So I'm, I'm using a glove so I won't, because to me the only way to do this is by hand. I'm just going to coat. And how much mayonnaise did it call for? Like a half, half a cup? cup? Yeah. So, our intentions are for you to cover it good. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, you know, mayonnaise doesn't have any carbs, y'all. So, if you're on a low-carb diet, have at it. Isn't that so funny? It is so funny. Things that I love, you know, a lot does not have carbs. Like 
heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. And I can I can sweeten it with a artificial sweetener. And uh, it's just so good. All right, so that is coated very, very good with one of my favorite condiments. I don't know, I might better not take off my glove yet. Maybe I should. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to. So I can pick this up and just gonna pour this over that cauliflower and let it run down Funny how the simplest things can make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so thankful I have a love for the kitchen because it's something I can do that can be real productive and fulfilling. In more ways than one, it can be fulfilling. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take uh, Teresa's everything everything uh, bagel. I think that's what it is. Everything but the bagel. Just coat that real good. This is kind of the way I have to put the coconut on my coconut cake. You know, in order to get that side on, that side done. Okay, how delicious does that look, y'all? Now we're gonna put this in the oven. We're preheating the oven to 425, and we're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes. Uh, now, 425 <laughs> sounds a little hot. a little hot, so you determine what temperature you want, but. You just don't want it to burn up at the end of 30 minutes. And you want this to um, be tender when you insert a little steak knife down into the center and it goes without effort, you know, it's tender. So if it is not, you know, cook it for another eight to 10 minutes. Now, the way I do a whole head of cauliflower is I kind of cut it like a pie. Okay, Eddie, I'm sorry you can't taste yours along with us. Oh, Lee Mother. Yum. It's cooked perfectly. Mm-hmm. And how long did we cook that? 30, 30 minutes? Just now? Mm-hmm. Ooh, and it's got a kick from that. That red pepper. Uh huh. So, if y'all make this recipe, I didn't even put all the red pepper in it, did I? Mm -mm. I would, um, I would use caution. Especially depending on who's eating it. Yes, depending on who's eating it. This would be cruel to get to a child. Um, <laughs> uh, and does that everything but bagel, does that have salt in it? Mm -hmm. It does. I didn't realize that. I think it does. Hold on. Let me look. Here. I'm going to look. And why not? Because we use salt, garlic salt on it. Hmm. <laughs> Salt, yes. So, you could do a little less on the garlic salt if you were. Yeah, I do garlic powder. Mm -hmm. You're watching your sodium. Yeah, instead of garlic salt. And I might should have been a little lighter with this. I 
because of the salt in it, but it's, it's wonderful. That mayonnaise with that butter poured over it. I think. Like you say, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, that's right. Love and best dishes to y'all, you must try it. I mean, we're eating no carbs mm -hmm. and very few calories. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.